You're watching the Samsung Galaxy A32 5G disassembly. If you need any tools, there are links in the description. We're going to start off by removing the SIM tray. So once we have the SIM tray removed, we're going to use a hair dryer or a heat gun to apply heat to the back plate so we can loosen up the adhesive underneath and then we're going to use a plastic pry tool to pry the back plate off. So here we have a look at the plastic back plate. There are 16 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once all the screws have been removed, we're going to disconnect the fingerprint reader cable. Once that cable is disconnected, we're going to take our plastic pry tool and place it in between the back housing and the frame of the screen, and we're going to run it along the edges and pop the catches off. So taking a look at the back housing, we can see numerous antennas located around the edges. Here are the flex cables for them as well as your NFC antenna located right over here. On the other side, we can see a layer of graphite over here. And the purpose of that is to help transfer heat away from the components. You have your loudspeaker located down here and your fingerprint scanner is located over here on the side. And just to note, the back housing itself is plastic as well. The next thing we want to do is disconnect the battery cable now that we have access to it. Next, we can go ahead and disconnect the screen cable. So moving on, we have two wire cables over here in the corner we have to pop off. We're going to pop them off on the bottom as well. Let's go ahead and remove the front facing camera. So this flex cable basically connects the subboard and the screen to the main board over here. So if you have to replace your screen, once you disconnect this cable, you would also have to disconnect this cable down here as well from the subboard. And then you would heat up the front of the phone where the screen is so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then you'd pry your screen off. You get your new screen, apply new adhesive, and run your cables back through the openings over here and just reassemble your phone. There's one Phillips screw located right here holding down the main board. And there's one down here in the corner which is holding down the subboard or charger port board. Once those screws are removed, we can lift up and remove the boards. Here's a better look at your main board. You have your LED flash located right here, and you have one of the camera connectors located right here. That can be disconnected by just popping it off. You also have rubber gaskets around these two connectors. Taking a look at the back side, you have your SIM card and memory card reader located right over here. And your other three camera connectors are here, which can be disconnected the same way by just popping it off. And your secondary microphone is located over here on top. There's also a graphite pad over here on top of the shield. Once we peel back that graphite pad, we can see a thermal pad here and here, which sit on the processor and this chip over here. Now let's go ahead and remove the subboard on the bottom. You have your charger port located over here and your headphone jacks right here. On the back side, your main microphone is located right over here. When it comes to removing the battery, there are no easy pull tabs to help you pry the battery off. So you are gonna need to use isopropyl alcohol and you're gonna have to squeeze some drops around the edges of the battery and let it sit for about a minute so it eats away at the adhesive. Here you have a better look at the battery. So back to the mid-frame, you have your vibrator motor located over here, your earpiece is located here, and you have a 3D layer of graphite over here which helps transfer heat. There's also this flex cable over here on the side for your volume keys. So as far as repairability goes, I give this phone a 9 out of 10. It's easy to take this phone apart, the only part you run into some difficulty is where the battery is. Since there are no easy pull tabs, you're going to have to use some isopropyl alcohol to help you pry the battery off. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the phone back together. Once all your screws are back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply your back plate. Now 
then flip over your phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.